In sambo, we avoid grabbing the kimono ear, especially if you lack strength. If I catch the jacket here and that he's resisting, it's going to be difficult to fold him. But if I get the jacket at neck level and I protect well, I will have more strength and I'll fold him more easily. For a woman in self-defense, it'll be interesting, whether in sports sambo or in free sambo, that is, without the jacket, I can catch the head to bring him to the ground. If I grab the jacket at color level and that I catch the jacket right here, I have an extra strength that is bound to joints and to the head. There, I can attack and have a good control. Alexander Yeskevich explained to me it was more interesting to take the kimono with the fingertips rather than with the hand. You will see that catching the kimono with fingertips makes you as strong and powerful and more, gives you a better control of the jacket in order to throw the opponent. Same exercise with another ending more classic, still an arm lock performed on the elbow and the shoulder, but this time by using my leg to control the arm and to submit my opponent. You often find this kind of technique used by Russians with the control of the opponent on the side. I grab the opponent's arm by pulling the elbow towards me, which makes me rotate on the outside of the opponent. If the opponent doesn't let go of the jacket, he might directly go to an arm lock. With this control, I can attack him in many ways. Here I pass my leg against his, so that it moves back and I'm able to enter his guard, so that I can throw on the side and be on the ground in a favorable position to finish the fight with knee lock. As regards the knee lock, notice that I tighten with both my knees just over his and that I pull his leg backwards by pulling on his heel with my hand. Here's a throw that I teach a lot for self-defense. It begins like a regular throw, except that I grab the opponent on the belt, or in the street by getting my hand inside his pants, as I would demonstrate later. For that movement to be easy, I pull the opponent's belt upwards. Look at my elbow. If I grab the belt with the right arm, my elbow goes from the left shoulder to the right, then with a hip motion, I throw him easily. Here's the same technique, but my opponent has no jacket or belt, so I have to adapt and to grab his arm or his pants. The rest doesn't change. I get well my elbow and I practice a wide hip motion, which will propel the opponent to the ground, where I'll be able to submit him. <laughs> 